What's up guys, welcome back to Best Tax. In this video, we will be showing you how to import boot image also referred to as kernel of an Android custom block. This is an important and uh, necessary step if you are trying to port a custom ROM to your device. For this method to work, you need a couple of things. First one is an Android kitchen installed properly in a Windows PC. If you uh, don't know how to install Android kitchen, uh, check out my previous video regarding how to install Android kitchen on Windows PC using Sagin. I will put link to that video in the description box below. Then, so second thing is uh, you need boot image of uh, port and base ROPs. You can find the boot.img file inside the uh, rom.zip. You can also use uh, stock rom boot image as the base boot image. Okay, I will explain what is base boot image and what is port boot image. Base boot image is the boot image from an already working custom ROM on your device or from your stock ROM. You can also find this uh, boot.img file inside your uh, stock firmware. Port boot image is a boot image or boot.img file present inside the ROM which you are trying to port it to your device. Actually, which means that uh, port boot image is a boot image which you are trying to port with, uh, so that it will run on your device. Now let's start porting boot image. For that, first you have to go to install location of Android Kitchen. Uh, by default, this is in C, uh, Sign, Home, your username, then Kitchen. Okay. Uh, now you have to create a new folder in inside Android Kitchen folder. Make sure you uh, name the folder as exactly as I'm doing in the video. The first part of the uh, folder name must be working, then underscore, then a number like one two three or some alphabets. Okay. After that open the newly created folder then copy and paste the port boot image uh, to the newly created working folder ok uh, now you have to open and sign in you can either do it from uh, desktop or from install location of sign in after sign in loads type C D K I T C H E N then press enter then type dot slash M E N U then press enter now Sagin will uh, now Android Kitchen will load it might take a couple of seconds you have to be little bit patient patient we need to select advanced options for that press 0 then click enter key now we need to choose the 12th option uh, for that enter 12 then press enter key again ok this is the uh, feature we needed uh, type A then press enter you can see a new, a new folder has been created in android kitchen folder Okay, copy uh, the base boot image to the newly created folder. Now press enter. Uh, this will unpack the base boot image. Okay, after finishing the process press enter again now enter w and press enter this will unpack uh, the port boot image which we have already copied to the working folder now press enter again 
okay then uh, you then go to uh, kitchen the automatically create a folder then copy and replace is a image from that folder to boot extracted folder after doing that go back to the previous folder then go to boot image ram disk and then you have to copy this file named ueventd.rc uh, from that folder to the corresponding folder in boot extracted folder All right. Uh, if you are an MD six five nine two user or an MD six five eight two user, then you have almost completed porting the port image. If you are an MD six five nine one user, then you need to do an extra step for finalizing the boot image porting, uh, which is you have to uh, make a replica of all files which had which have MD six five eight two or MD six five nine two in their file names. This is applicable only if you are doing a cross porting from MD six five eight two or nine two to MD six five nine one. If you are doing MD six five nine one to nine one porting, then this step is not required. Okay, uh, uh, I will tell you how to do that. You need to copy the file with the MD six five nine two or eight two in their names into desktop, then uh, rename that. 92 or 8291 after doing that copy the file and paste it back to the folder from where you have obtained the file you have to do this to all the files with the md6592 or 82 in their name separately if you are not an md6591 user then you can skip this step so after doing that uh, open this kitchen again then press p and click enter now click enter again now wait for the process to get finished after the process is complete uh, you can find the uh, newly created or ported boot image in the working folder it will replace the old one thanks for watching we will soon be uploading more videos related to how to port and cross port custom rounds, how to fix bugs and much more. So make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you won't miss uh, these contents.